Oh! oh. Big left hand there. Oh! oh. Big shot! Yes. Yeah. Finding his rhythm early on. And down! Goes Fedenko, and oh my goodness! Undefeated Cuban Ocelius Iglesias made the second defense of his IBO super middleweight title against highly ranked Russian Evgeny Shevchenko. The best. Earlier on in the broadcast, the bout started tentatively as both fighters appeared to be feeling each other out when suddenly Iglesias produced a frightening knockout. Iglesias yeah. finding his rhythm early on and down goes Fedenko and oh my goodness. A horrifying reaction. Warning to people. Oh my goodness. Here meets the jawbone. It's a guy who has not been knocked out. Undefeated WBA Intercontinental Lightweight Champion Mark Chamberlain took on Nigeria's Joshua Wahab for the vacant WBC Silver Lightweight title. Good luck, Chief. Good luck. So Lee Avery, the ref for Nigeria tonight, has only lost once, as Richie mentioned. With 45 seconds left on the clock in the opening round, Wahab walked into a thunderous left hand from Chamberlain. He's joined us in the commentary position. He swapped. Oh, oh, there's a great shot. Short, sharp, accurate, full of power. And he might struggle to beat the count here, Joshua Wahab. He's managed to drag himself to his feet, but he might well be there for the taking now. Lee Avery has a lot. Wahab got back up, but was on shaky legs. Sensing that his opponent was hurt, Chamberlain went for the finish and sent Wahab down once again. Here in Saudi Arabia, a beautiful punch, and there's not a great deal left, and he's in there for the finish, and he gets it. What a performance from Mark Chamberlain. Just finishes his opponents off. Going into this contest, he had six wins in the first round. That's the seventh. It all started off, Fletch, with that left hand. What a peach of a shot that was. You quite rightly called it. But then, as he finished his opponent off there with some quality punching, I thought Wahab on the outside was playing a, a craft boxing. Omar Chavez, son of three division world champion Julio Cesar Chavez, squared off against journeyman Michi Munoz Zavala. Chavez struggled against Munoz in the opening round as he failed to land any meaningful punch. But in round two, the two men were in a clinch when Munoz got carried away after losing his mouth guard, and this happened. Oh. Undefeated British teenage heavyweight Moses Itayuma faced Germany's Ilya Mazentev for the vacant WBO Intercontinental Heavyweight title. Shut everyone up if he can come out here and put on a... The 19-year-old Itayuma has aspirations of becoming the youngest heavyweight champion. He showed he had what it takes as he blasted through Mazentev in just two rounds to win his first boxing title. Oh. Oh, look at that! What a shot! What a combination! Oh, the body isn't working anymore. They'll wave it off. Moses Atawa makes it. Japanese superstar Naoya Inoue defended his undisputed super bantamweight title against former two division world champion Luis Neri. God bless you both. Touch gloves. WBA and IBF World Championship. The champion, Naoya Inoue. The Mexican challenger got off to a strong start by dropping Inoue for the first time in his professional career with a left hook. An entertaining fight for the fans. Oh, and down goes Naoya Inoue from a left hook from Luis Natty in round one. Wow. Inoue appeared stunned. We knew that hook was dangerous. But quickly recovered and returned the favor in round two. Clean in a way. Oh, and a big shot there drops Natty in round two.
from that point on, Inoue took control of the bout and easily used his speed and power to hurt Neri. But it's just letting... Inoue sent the challenger to the canvas for the second time in round five. Oh, oh. and another left hand drops Neri in round five. When Inoue smells blood, he jumps... Then convincingly ended the fight with a knockdown in the sixth. Oh, Neri ate another oh. that one with the right hand, sent it through the ropes. It's over. That's it. It's it over. is over. He's finished him in round six and still the undisputed king at junior featherweight. Now he had the monster. 22-year-old Eric Tudor took on 41-year-old Rodriguez Livesey in a scheduled 10-round bout. So the pedigrees are different, but they're in and the ring now is professional. Tudor opened the bout by calmly working behind the jab and controlled the fight pretty much from the beginning. Then, in the final minute of round one, he scored a highlight real knockout over Livesey. Really? Here he is, there's that body shot, you said it, game. And all oh, Rodriguez is wishing, is he going to get seven, up? I don't know. Eight, Tudor saying he's nine, not. Rodriguez ten. is on the ground and it's over. A first round KO for Eric. Following his first loss to Agit Kabayel, Russian Arslan Bek Makhmunov made a comeback against Serbian Milian Rovchanin. Good luck, good luck both of you. In this one, obviously a heavy... There was no feeling out process in this bout as both men started trading big shots from the off. Center, through that big jab, right, straight right hand, missed it over the top, but it's very clear that he's trying to... But midway into the first round, Rovchanin felt the incredible power of Mahmudov and was almost sent out of the ring. Withstand too many shots like that. Go there! We had to get out of the way of him. Here's Rav However, to his credit, Rav Chanin returned to his feet and stunned Mahmudov with a couple of hard shots to make it out of the round. He can catch Mahmudov with the left hook coming in. Mahmudov! Mahmudov came out in round two looking for an early finish, and he got it. Grandote y pelea como bien erguido, estilo Gerdo. Oh, no, 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 a la lona de nuevo con esa derecha poderosa y está en malas condiciones. Y es todo, señores, por la vía del knockout, knockout, knockout. In a battle of undefeated heavyweight prospects, German Agit Caballel faced Cuban Frank Sanchez in a WBC title eliminator. Sanchez's WBC Continental Americas and NABO heavyweight titles were also on the line. Very tough fight to call this one, 50 50. Following an evenly fought opening round, the fight became one way traffic with Kambayel battering Sanchez with punches to the body and head. Try and get back to the center of the ring, allow space behind him. Oh, oh, right 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 then, in round seven, the former European champion stepped on the gas and floored Sanchez twice to win the fight. Oh, oh, down it goes. Two, three, four. Frank Sanchez on the verge of his first ever defeat as Ajit Kabiel going to offer right now. Kabiel really, really on top. And he's oh. put him down again. Two, three, Ajit Kabiel. Are we witnessing five, the birth of a future six, star here seven. in the heavyweight division? Fast rising super lightweight McQuan Williams and Will Mank Brito squared off in a scheduled eight round bout. At all times, touch gloves. Minded, he's a southpaw. Williams looked sharp from the start, mixing things up to the head and body. He's body shot. That's what you want to do. However, Brito also fought back and enjoyed some success of his own. Then, in round three, Williams rocked Brito with a hard right hand. Oh! and followed up with a sustained attack, but was unable to put Brito on the deck. However, Williams launched another attack moments later and scored a beautiful one-punch knockout.
A KO for Mike Quan, Marvelous Williams! Previously undefeated, David Stevens made a comeback after his first loss to Joshan James to face Argentine Sergio Lopez. Touch close now, come on, fighting at the bell. You know, he said that he wanted to make adjustments. The Argentine let his hands go freely from the opening bell and wobbled Stevens multiple times, but Stevens managed to remain on his feet by clinching. Him immediately, Stevens wobbled his legs and he pushed him down. However, in a sudden twist, Stevens took control of the fight and floored Lopez with a minute less in round one. Coming forward, he's eating so many big shots. And now he's not no! Lopez climbed back to his feet on shaky legs, but Stevens continued with the assault and floored him for the second time. Undefeated Polish Lukasz Rozanski made the first defense of his WBC Bridgerweight title against former World Cruiserweight champion Lawrence Acoli. The British former world champion lost his title after an unimpressive performance against Chris Billiam Smith. The bout got off to a fast start with both men trading power punches. However, Acoli landed first and dropped Rozanski. The Polish champion quickly got back to his feet, but he found himself on the floor two more times before the fight was waved off in the final seconds of the first round. Vlad Panin took on former two division world champion Devin Alexander. On UFC Fight Pass for Unified Boxing, shout out to the former champion was on a four fight losing streak and he had a tough time landing any meaningful shot against Panin. Then, in round two, Penning dropped Alexander flat on his back. For all intents and purposes, starting out in the sport. Oh. oh! And Alexander goes to the ground, and you see him smash the canvas. Definitely not happy with that, saying it was to the back of the head a little bit, but I think that might have been more equilibrium. Chinese heavyweight Zhang Zhile faced off against former world champion Deontay Wilder. Expect. Keep the fight clean. Obey my commands, and most importantly, gentlemen, protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Heavyweight championship of the world. So much. Zhang battered the former champion against the ropes in the early rounds, but Wilder fought back bravely and nailed Zhang with uppercuts. Wilder continued to find success in the fifth round when suddenly Zhang caught him with a powerful shot. Three, two, Nine. This fight is finished. It's over. Mexico's Vladimir Hernandez squared off against Argentine Guido Emmanuel Schramm. Touch him up and wait for the bell. Hernandez, as the champ said, always fit. The first round started at a fast pace with both boxers looking to establish dominance. And he's going to move around. He's got to mix it up with those shots just like that. Just like. However, it was Hernandez who took the fight on short notice who appeared to be the stronger and better of the two men. Shram had his own moments of success, but he was brutally knocked out in the sixth round. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos.